I'm going to show you how I create art with the help of AI and some other tools. I have been creating digital art for nearly two years now. As many or perhaps all of you know, AI is exploding right now and I am having a hard time keeping up with all of the amazing tools, frankly. But it's super exciting and super inspiring. Other art content I have created for much longer periods of time include poetry, prose, photography, and analog painting. I have mainly been using Stable Diffusion's programs such as Deforum, ControlNet, and Leonardo AI. Stability AI makes the products open source. Currently, you can also pay for Dream Studio in beta. I splurged finally and upgraded my really old PC to an Aces ROG Strix SCAR 18, which has the NVIDIA GeForce RTX 4090 GPU so that I can run Stable Diffusion locally. It's quite an expensive computer. You definitely don't need to buy such an expensive computer to create AI art. Also, if you're like me, I'm basically computer illiterate. Running Stable Diffusion locally might require you to tinker with some code. But if I can figure it out, you probably can too. Okay, so here is the homepage for Leo AI. And for the free version, you get 150 credits. And I believe that resets every three hours or eight hours. To create an image, you can go right here. For ideas, you can look at some of the images created by other artists. And what's fantastic about Leo AI is if you see an image you like, you can copy the prompt. When you copy the prompt, it only copies the top prompt. To copy the negative prompt, you have to do that manually. You can also hit remix and it'll come up with a new image. Let's take a look at some of the other parameters down here. Okay, this was created just yesterday. All right, let's, let's hit remix. And these are some images I created yesterday. So over here, you can select a particular model. Let's try Dream Shaper V5. Well, I didn't copy the negative prompt. I have some preset negative prompts, so I'm just going to do that. And we're going to set it to two images. Turn on prompt magic, turn on high contrast, and head over on the left to look at some of these other parameters. Oh, I'm going to keep guidance scale at seven. All right, let's hit generate. All right, so these were the images that came back quite different from the original. So you can just use other people's prompts as a starting point. And if this, if this, if these are what you wanted, then great, you don't have to make changes. But um, if you wanted the image to look more like the original, then you might have to change some parameters. Just play around with different words, maybe different models. So 
So because I had some audio issues, I did some other runs. And here, I did some remixes of some images I pulled from the community. These were all run on different models. This one is on Leo. Leo Diffusion seems to have a very similar look to a lot of its images. If you play around with it, you'll see. This one was on RPG4, and this is also RPG4. And then, yeah, and then I ran these. <laughs> So let's take a look at the prompt for these kitten images. Super cute, fluffy kitten, blah, blah, blah. Some of these words I pulled from another image in the community. So you don't really have to come up with original prompts, but of course you can. Before I knew about Leo, I was playing around with stable, stable diffusion a lot and came up with my own prompts. Yeah, and it's, it's really fun to figure out what works, what doesn't work. But let's go back and take a look at community images and the different models. There's there are these feature models, and then there are some other community models. Yeah, so I'll just let you play around with that. This was the image that I did some remixes on to come up with those fairy and animal shots. Okay, so here I'm showing you some butterflies I created. I really am in a kick for butterflies right now. And there are a lot of animals outside, so I apologize if you hear them. They're quite loud. I was editing this movie really late last night when the animals were a little quieter, but then it got to be really late. I'm in this rural agricultural area right now, and there isn't a lot of city noise pollution from electronics or cars, but there are a lot of animals on the farm. Okay, so I ran the same prompt for these butterflies and flowers on different models. Huh. These look also pretty similar. I think these ones I like the most. But, as you can see, sometimes you might have to go in and fix a few things. You might have to use Photoshop or some other program to fix a few things. But earlier I ran these AI co-girls. Look, so look at, look at the hand. Is you, I have to go in and fix that. I'm not really sure why Stable Diffusion has such an issue with hands. It seems to understand other parts of the body very well. Maybe some coder can figure it out. Okay, so that's Leonardo. And... I also do stable diffusion locally, but that's a little complicated, so I'll save that for another video.
But here's a little preview of what I've been working on in Stable Diffusion. This is an image inspired by a 1940s war poster by Dick Williams. Also, if you're familiar with the NFT world, you might recognize this image in the memes of 6529 season one. It was created by 6529er. The institutions are coming for your JPEGs. I'm sorry, the fan on my computer is quite loud. I'm going to turn off soon. Here are a couple of other images that were generated in Stable Diffusion for the image I was trying to create. There's that issue with the hands again. Something I'll have to fix if I wanted to use this image. Well, I better let my computer rest. It's so loud and I wanted to thank you for watching and if you liked the video please hit the like button below thanks again go forth and create